Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I want to talk about not buying into the hype in the UI, UX design industry with all the new fancy tools and stuff coming out. But instead, focus on the fundamentals because the fundamentals have been the same from when I got started in this field 20 plus years ago, or 20 years ago. Got started around 97, 98. But the fundamentals has not changed. But things change, time evolves and new tools and fancy things come about and people get excited about certain things. But at the end of the day, it's the fundamentals that you should focus on and key on. And that's what's going to make you a successful product designer, no matter what tool, what, no matter what uh, thing, no matter what changes take effect within the industry, no matter what medium, whether it's mobile, tablet desktop uh tv okay if you know the fundamentals you can design across all these mediums and you can use any tool that's out there this comes about as envision as you can see behind me envision is creating this new another ui design tool called envision studio they're a lot think a lot they just launched this um earlier than the week or last week and um they are launching this in January. Essentially, it's a UI design tool. Um, Envision purchased another UI tool called Macaw a couple years back and whatnot, and they've been developing this over two years. At the end of the day, guys, it's going to be able to create an artboard. It's going to be able for you to use the rectangle tool to create a box. You're going to be able to use the circle tool to create a circle. You're going to be able to create a drop shadow. You're going to be able to apply some text on a particular artboard. You're going to be able to add a gradient to a rectangle, to a vector object. You're going to be able to bring in vector icons like you can do in every other app. Okay, like you can, you, you've been able to do for the past 100 years okay things don't change let me explain so this particular so what i what i want you to focus on is so somebody asked me my opinion on this and so because this is new i'm in the industry i i want to speak on it um the point here is that these tools there's we i would i would spend an hour right now listing out all the fancy ui ux design tools and you go to their website and they're gonna have this cool parallax scrolling stuff and, and fancy things and features and whatnot. At the end of the day, guys, there's a handful of tools that you actually need in order to design an interface. Those handful of tools can are, are available to you in every single application, every single UI design tool, every single graphic design tool on the market today, all right? Everything above and beyond that is extra, okay? Is extra. If if you want the heated seats in your car, go for it. If you want, you know, the ability to adjust the AC in the back seats, that's on you. At the end of the day, you still need to be able to drive the car. You got a steering wheel and four wheels, right? My point here is I want to give you an analogy. Um, I'm a big basketball fan, as you can see, my little Laker hat back there. I have a popular um, YouTube channel called Laker Talk. And uh, you can check it out. Just type in Laker Talk and you can see me there. Um, I study basketball. I've been watching basketball for the last 35 plus years. It comes natural to me. Um, and so um, I talk about basketball. I love the Lakers. Um, the point here, I, I want to give you an analogy and I don't expect you to to know everything that I'm talking about, but I want to prove a point. Um, in, the, in the NBA world, um, there are new prospects, young kids that come up in high school ranks. And on YouTube, they have these these highlight reels that's called mixtapes. And so these mixtapes, you'll have a million views on these tapes and these and it shows these kids dunking, right? Dunking on people, boom, 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 blocking shots and whatnot and doing all this fancy stuff. And you see the comments, million, millions of comments. Oh my God, he's gonna be the next best thing. You can see literally for every college player, for every kid coming out of high school into college, there is a mixtape, okay? Now, I'll cut it short, long story short, when these kids get to NBA, they learn really quick that um, 
you can't just dunk the ball on everybody because you're playing against guys who actually know the game of basketball, which to perfect the game of basketball, you have to use the fundamentals of the NBA. Okay, Kobe Bryant had the fundamentals of the NBA. LeBron James does, does he knows the fundamentals of the NBA. Uh, Steph Curry knows the fundamentals of the NBA. That's just shooting, right? So you can go to every single superstar in the league and they all know the fundamentals, right? Kawhi Leonard is a good specialist defensively and, 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 and so forth. Also, also on the offensive end. But the point here is when they get, when they become a rookie in the NBA, they don't know how to set a good screen. They don't know what to do when a double team comes. They don't know what to, they don't know how to play the post. They don't know how to play the high post. They don't know how to <clears throat> um, call for a pick. They don't know what to do when the pick comes. They don't know how to get their teammates involved. They don't know how to, uh, the fact that passing the ball and those types of things, basic fundamentals of basketball will help you succeed that much more quicker in addition to your God-given talent, right? Of height and athleticism and things like that. Point here is people buy into this hype, but at the end of the day, the fundamentals trump the hype. Because when the hype after the smoke clears, and you can look, look at it like this, like when new tools like this come out and there'll be another XYZ company with the fancy UI design tool that does this, this, this. When the smoke clears, at the end of the day, there's a handful of fundamentals that every product, every pot, every uh, uh, rock star product designer uses and it doesn't pertain to one particular tool or not. Um, it's the fundamentals that's going to get you through. It's the ability to understand um, how to design user-friendly interfaces, right? Using basic tools, the rectangle tool, circle tool, uh, text, applying icons, applying drop shadows, um, applying a gradient here and there, right? Uh, adding an image, and then aesthetically understanding how those things all fit together. That comes about regardless of what tool you use. And that's what my message is in this video is really these things will come about. These tools will come about. And as you can see, it looks like, let me scroll here. It is just like a sketch, as you can see. It's still different than sketch. Let me just uh, zoom out. So you have, you know, layers over here, artboards over here, and your properties panel over here. This is where you modify the width and height, the opacity of objects, um, drop shadows, and stuff like that. All these things, if you know, if you basically, if you, if you know Sketch, if you know any UI, UI design tool on the market today, Sketch, Adobe XD, Photoshop, Adobe Fireworks, what have you, these things come about, the learning curve is like 15 minutes. If you did want to use that particular tool, it could be a good tool because it's available for Windows and Mac. Use it. It's the same. The point here is not the tool. It's not the tool at, for any aspiring designer. It's not the tool that you use. It is... The fundamentals of UI, UX design, the best practices, that's what's going to get you through and make you successful. So learn those fundamentals, focus on that, and don't buy into the hype when new tools come about and don't get overwhelmed by it because you can it can really throw you for a loop and um, now you're all confused. Mike, what should, what should I be doing? What should... Okay, stick to the basics and you'll be successful wherever you go and whatever tool you use. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you like the things I talk about, hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, visit my site as always, mlwebco.com for more information about me and ask me any questions using the contact link on my site. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great week.